Hello loves. I bought dresses. For a wedding. Whose wedding? My cousin's wedding. They're getting married. I am going to try on said dresses from Windsor. This is my first time purchasing from them. I was looking for wedding dresses. They were quite challenging to find. I'm sorry, not wedding dresses, wedding guest dresses. This is what I found. So I just wanted to share them with you. I don't know if you purchased from Windsor. We're gonna see how the fit is after scouring, scouring the internet trying to find something that I found to be appropriate and also on a good budget because also I'm not getting married, they are. I'm not trying to break the bank, but I also have a cute little, a cute little number, a cute little one too. <laughs> have a cute little one too to wear. Maybe I can do a little something with it later on. Maybe, we'll see. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's me know if you like this kind of content so I can continue to share with you. Let's spread the love. Maybe that is not the point of this video. Mm, it's mixed with collagen and natural energy. I just kicked my leg up. You couldn't see it. Let's get started. Stop playing around. I haven't even opened up the box. So we're going to do it together. I think I ordered five dresses. I'm pretty sure. Seven, four, or five. Careful! Feels like Christmas. This is my first try on haul. I'm pretty stoked about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, we've got dresses. One. Two. Two. Three. Four. Five. As I thought, five dresses. Dress number one. Wow, wow, wow. Um. Uh, you know, it's giving body, that's for sure. <laughs> I love the color and the fabric is comfortable. It's slinky. For reference, all these dresses are size small. I am 5'8 and I normally wear about a, for pant size, like a size four. I'm gonna stand on this little thing. Hopefully I don't fall. This is the back. Oh, well, hello. Um, I love the fabric of this. I love the color. I don't know how I feel about it for a wedding, but my concern actually for this dress would be, you see how I keep having to pull it down. Also, my concern is just that like this little slit here is just gonna do the most. Let's see, can I, you know. Like, uh oh, see, already. Mmm, <laughs> this probably isn't it. Let's keep going. Side note, I'm wearing seamless underwear. So I think it's actually pretty good with this fabric. You can't really see too much. I see a little something like here, but it's to be expected something, but not too bad, especially for a fabric like this. I'm pretty impressed. Let's keep going. Next, it's this brown pretty little thing and I'm not talking about me guys. <laughs> I really love the fabric of this one as well. It's slinky with some stretch to it. This slit, I'm concerned because I am, I am no shy goose on the dance floor. I don't know what a goose and the dance floor have to do with one another, but just know that I am no shy goose. <laughs> 
I want something, oh wow. I want something that I can dance in and not feel like I am just going to show everybody and their mom my last name without having to say a word. I don't think that this dress is going to be it for me, but I really do think it's a sexy dress. I love the fit of it. Again, it's giving body, Adi, Adi. And um, I will stand here. I wish my camera, I still need to figure out like my camera situation for full body stuff. Oh shoot. <laughs> you see that it comes past my knees. This is fun, but I think definitely too much for the wedding, but I love the color. I also love the ruching. Here, I think it's very flattering. I also think that if you are fuller around the waist, it would help just kind of give that illusion. The boobs, the waist, the hips. I really do love the ruching detail as well as this seam line here. It's very, I think it's very flattering. Also, it draws the eye into, it gives that optical illusion. It draws the eye here. We have the waist and then brings it down to the leg. It's a very sexy dress, but I'm not trying to be the person walking, having to walk through the walk and pool. I really don't like doing the walk and pool. I also called it the walk and tug. Either one, don't like doing it. It's the same thing. This is dress number two. She's not gonna make the cut, but she's pretty though. Just in case, this is the back. <laughs> okay, yeah, no. Not trying to flash the goods. On to the next one. Well, this was dress number three. Cute little number. Can't fit it. It's a, it is a size small as well. And I also found out just now on the tag that this special occasion item is not returnable. So I'm gonna have to figure that out because I can't even put it on to try on. So somebody's gonna get this dress back. <laughs> It'll be figured out. <laughs> That's a bit of a bummer. I was really looking forward to trying on this dress, but if it doesn't fit, <laughs> it doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, I can't actually put it past my hips. So, there's that. If people are ordering online, you should be able to return it because you haven't tried it out in the store. I would I would have ordered a different size had I known. That doesn't even make sense. Like if I can't, if I order it online, I get it. I can't fit it. I have to keep it? That doesn't make sense. I'm not just wasting money like that. Anyways, this is dress number three. Womp womp. I also forgot to mention that the dress number two, the brown one, that fabric was, I might've said it's slinky as well, but it's a little thicker in texture than the blue dress. I really like it. I like, I like the thickness in that one. Doesn't matter. Let's continue. Oh, that's silly. Okay. I was looking forward to this dress. This color, I think this is like a periwinkle, periwinkle blue. If you've made it this far in the video, let me know what color do you think this is? Periwinkle or a sky blue? It's not really sky blue, but it kind of looks sky bluish, kind of. Back to it though, this is what, dress number four? Yes, three that I've tried on, but dress number four. I am liking this, hold on, let's fix the shoulders a little bit. Oh, I feel, ooh, ooh. I feel pretty. I really like this dress. Look at this. I think I'm gonna play with this a little bit more if I do end up going with this dress. Let me know your thoughts. I love the neckline on this and the arms. I do feel because of the fabric, I do have some give. It is this like that slinky elastic fabric. As you can see, it's got a lot of give, but it's also form fitting. I love the ruching on this as well. 
along the waist. I think it's very flattering. And also, again, like I said on the other dress, if you are a little bit fuller in the waist or the hips, I think that it is forgiving too. And because it, the ruching, it does, it can cinch you well in the waist. And, ooh, my thighs are getting a workout from this. All this up and down. So this is the back. I really love this asymmetrical hemline. I think it's very flattering as well. I'm gonna stand on my stool and not break my neck. Imagine this with some heels. Oh, ladies and gents, I am loving this dress. <laughs> So far, this is my favorite. I really love this color. I really love, I just love the fit. I love the way it feels. It's hugging in all the right places. I also like, um, I like the armhole. I feel like it could be just a little, no, it's actually good because if it was any looser, this would be falling off and then I would be worried about nip slip and nobody's trying to have that because not me at least. I really like this. Let's see if I can pull it up any. Nope, I'm not going up any higher. This is really pretty to me. Let me know in the comments what you all think. So far, this one is my favorite. There's one more to try on. Imagine I've got my necklaces on or just my neck. Yeah, well, I always wear this one. I have all of my jewelry on. My hair is done. It's not in this messy bun. Hair done, messy bun. Oh man, I'm quick with them. This one too, because of the fabric, I think it's just a fabric situation. It's also rising, but like, I don't really mind it as much because I think that it helps that this is a straight hemline here with this overlay. So it gives me a little bit more coverage. So it's not that same ideal as the other splits so that you could possibly see a little like I said, don't like doing the walk and tug, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And if it's a pretty dress, you do what you gotta do. Fashion, right? Fashion, they say. I do wanna say, this is, these fabrics are those fabrics that like, if you put any oil on your body, like me, I have a nice little lotion oil concoction. It's like lotion, half, half lotion, half coconut oil. I'm gonna have to be mindful of that when I am getting dressed because I don't want to have oil marks on this dress and that would for sure happen. So just be mindful if you are someone like me that likes to make sure you are oiled up darling and moisturized. Side. <laughs> Back, I think I already showed this. As you can tell, I'm really liking this dress. Don't know what color heels I would go with, maybe a cream. Thank you for coming along on the journey of finding a dress with me. Appreciate it. I like this dress, like this dress. Like, I think at this point, I know that I'm wearing this dress, but because there's one more to try on, I'm gonna give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a good old college try. I also like this dress too, because I don't know about you all, but I am a sweater. I sweat quite easily. I like it because it, this like, overlay as well this design detail it kind of hides the the underarm sweat happening I, you will for sure be able to see it i'm pretty sure you'll be able to see it through the waist but still at least if we can just pretend to be a little bit more not sweaty <laughs> dress number five just had a little bit of a nip slip. So, <laughs> gotta tighten this bad boy up. While I'm doing that, this is the back. I think that's better. Yeah. It was in this movement, so you. I will say, like, if you are fuller up top, I don't know how flattering or how helpful this neckline would be. I don't have that much going on. I've got a little something, but I'm not trying to knock my girls. <laughs> I 
but I don't have a lot. If you are fuller in the chest, I don't know if this will be as helpful just because I really love the color of this. I feel like it's like a, like a blush, like a deep blush, I'd say. I think it's really pretty. I also love the layering that's happening on the waist. I also feel like this dress too is very forgiving in the front. It really depends on your comfort level because the back is open so it doesn't pull as much. You can tighten the straps, of course, to adjust this top for sure. If you're full, you might be, depending on the event, the activities, you might be fine. But I could also see, let me not do too much, but I could also see it just being like a little problematic up here. I just don't feel it being like super supportive. I just wish that it came in maybe like another inch, I think. Even a half an inch could have been helpful. Just so if you were fuller at the top, you had some more coverage. I just feel like you might have a little areola slip, just a little bit, just a little. But I think it's a very pretty color. Also, the layering that they did in here around the waist is nice. Like they have, it's lined as well. Here, you, you can see that. The lining is very supportive around the waist. I'm loving how this feels. Like this alone makes me wanna wear the dress just because I feel like it is cinching me in and giving waist. <laughs> so all these dresses minus the black dress are very forgiving in fabric. It has a lot of stretch as well. And the lining helps keep things a little bit more cinched in as well. The ruching as well is very flattering along the side seams and in the front as well. If you can see the seam lined here, so it feels kind of like, it's kind of has that corset like feel to it a little bit. There is no boning in here, so it's not tight. It's just kind of a, a play on the idea with the seam lines along the butt or along the waist. <laughs> so this one is the longest one that I have. This one actually, you can't see too much pretty long like you can't even it's going it's at it's like past my my toes and i'm currently standing on my tippy toes so it's pretty long if you're shorter you might have to get it hemmed or just wear your highest heels and if you are on the taller side my tall girls then you'll pro you're probably fine i'm currently standing on my tippy toes and i like I would show you the bottom, but like, you get the point. It's really, it's really long, but also check the website for the measurements if you are interested in this. And I'll, I'm gonna figure out how I can link the dresses. You know, you can, you can, you can dance in this dress, but ooh, I feel like too many of these <laughs> and you never wanna upstage the bride. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I really like this dress, but I think it's gonna be the blue one for me. I love, I love a good open leg dress. Hence the three that you've seen with the slit. I think it's very sexy. Boom, imagine you're like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, hello. I feel like it loses the illusion of quality once you get down to the bottom. These dresses aren't very expensive, which was perfect because they're right on budget for me. However, I also don't want to be wearing a dress that looks like, oh, where did you get that from? It's, it's like at the top, I think it looks really pretty, but once you get down to the bottom, I, think that it just kind of, I feel like it starts to tell on itself. Like it just kind of starts to feel more budget down at the bottom. My pop, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so here is the bottom. If you can see, and you can even see how far it goes. But do you see towards the bottom? And maybe just because it's wrinkled. It is a really pretty dress. And if that's not, if that's, <laughs> let me get down. <laughs> it's not like my favorite. I don't have that same feeling that I have when I put on the blue dress. So I'm gonna put the blue dress back on and maybe just try some heel options just in case. But it's really pretty. It's pretty. All right, let me know what you guys think. The blue dress or this blush dress. I might be okay. And I could just need some assistance in making it a little tighter. Yeah, this thing is gonna have to for sure be tied up because <laughs> this is my second nip slip over here. And <sighs> I'm just imagining being at the wedding and you think you're doing your thing or you bend over to like talk to your, your little cousin or someone's little cousin or someone or pick up something or some kind of something and bend over and boop, 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 boop the girls are out. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I would be mortified. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm feeling like myself. I'm feeling zesty and sexy. One mini i'm gonna figure out something to do with my hair don't quite know like i said imagine i have jewelry and stuff on but silver i think it's between these and All right, this is, this is the best that I can do without emerging into the wall. A little, I really like the pop with the silver. <laughs> this is the dress, spoiler. I'm going with this one. <laughs> Oh, yes, I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is it. The question is, these shoes or another option? Option two. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do. It's whatever. It's not giving me the pizzazz that I want to get. Last one. It is a fall wedding, so I want to keep that in mind. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the silver, but I'm going to put these on just to give it a try. So, I mean, we're here now, right? Imagine. I almost lost it there. Did you see that? But I like these too. I feel like this is giving me a little bit more spring than fall with the color combination. If you made it this far, can you just go ahead and just hit that like button for me? That'd be so helpful. So that um, it just, you know, it supports me. It supports the channel. If anyone is like me trying to find, or was like me trying to find a wedding guest dress, that came out smoother than I thought it was going to. I'm not gonna try it again. <laughs> but if you're trying to find a wedding guest dress, ah, I did it. And you're having troubles, this will just pop up. Hopefully if they're typing it in, it just encourages more people to be able to see the video. So hit that like button for me, please. That'd be greatly, thank, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And also if you've got this far, can you let me know what you guys think, which heels you would go with? Curious. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification if you haven't already so that you don't miss a single video. I gotta get out of this dress. I'm getting a little warm. So this has been fun. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments, please. I'd love to hear which was your favorite dress. Which dress would you choose to wear to a fall wedding? Let me know your favorite. What do you think about the colors, the fits, all that stuff? I just wanna hear from you, let's connect. Maybe I'll put some pictures at the end once all is said and done so you can see what the full complete look looks like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so we can keep hanging out. We can do more of this, keep connecting. That's it, that's all. Per usual, this has been fun. I really enjoy making these videos. Thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, bye.